All right, YouTube, so you have seen the problem in this induction. When I turn this thing on and uh, put some pot on it, then like uh, it doesn't work, it doesn't heat up, just uh, keep on beeping. And then after that, when I tried next time, and then it was uh, showing the E4 error on this uh, display panel. So the problem mainly lies uh, in this resistance here, you can see these are the high voltage resistance. This one, this come from another line and this one comes from this IGBT right here. And this to like uh, send the signal to this controller IC right there. If one of this uh, gets open and doesn't work, then the signal wouldn't come to this IC right here. And the induction wouldn't work and show E4 error and also it may uh, shows no error but not hitting up just uh, continuous beeping like that so that's the old faulty resistance here and i have replaced it with this new one and the value of this resistance is 820 kilo ohms so it's a high voltage resistance it's uh, like uh, reduce the voltage from uh, three 300 around 300 voltage to uh, 2 volt or 3 volt something like that to send the signal to the uh, microcontroller IC so basically it's simple first of all when the E4 error shows up then first of all you need to check this resistance and all so how to do that as you know that's the bridge rectifier diode and and the markings are there that's the positive terminal and that's the negative terminal and the middle two these are the AC input so that's the AC uh, comes to these two pins like to 20 to 40 volt and DC comes out from this two side of pin that's the positive and that's the negative so you just uh, set the multimeter to DC voltage uh, max voltage here you can see DC, DC this thing has a 600 volt so you just set it to this 600 volt and touch this uh, black pin to the negative one that's the negative one I have showed you on the other side marking negative one and then with the red pin test the signal that's the resistance 820k check the signal here at the input it will show like around 300 voltage and then check the output of this one this will show like one two or three uh, volts something like that and that's another resistance right, right here I told you about so that's it check that that's the input check it and that's output test it so main these two resistance need to be checked for that thing there may have some other cause too, but in this case, that's the uh, main cause, the resistance, uh, two of them, check them out. So, in this case, this resistance was uh, faulty, so I replaced it, and it's working fine. So when you get the E4 error, first of all, check this resistance, high voltage resistance. If they are okay, then check the other parts, uh, like that, the bridge rectifier diode and the capacitors and all. So, that's the main thing. So that was a quick video to show you my E4 error fault fixing. And that's all for today. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.